Hi guys, this is Anders and today we're going to be having a look at molecular and how we can modulate within molecular. Okay, first thing we're going to want to do is just open up molecular. So here I've got the reactor 5 FX unit. Now to open reactor you'll need to click on the little magnifying glass up here. Um, to open molecular you'll need to click on the little magnifying glass up here. That will bring up the browser here. You need to be on player, and for me, molecular appears right at the top here, and we just drag the assembly into here. Now, initially, it will load up with a patch. If you click up here, where I've got 001, and go down to six, single DSP, the initialized patch is there at the top, and that's where we're going to be starting. Now, I have got a piece of audio here, just a pretty basic loop, it's sort of a tape stop effect sound going on. And we are just going to use the real basic features of Molecular to change that and make it into something new and show you guys how the modulation part of Molecular works. So all the modulation information is over here on the left hand side under where it says molecular and we've got LFO step envelope logic. We're going to look at the LFO step and uh, envelopes here. Now you see each one's got one through to four and that is so you can have the individual ones working on each here. So effectively you've got um, three sets of four for each plugin because uh, you can load multiple plugins up to four within molecular itself. Now we're going to need something to work with. So see this first one here where it says level. If we click the little down arrow, we will just grab the very first DSP here, which is going to be the dual comb. Uh, it's loaded the dual comb, it's labeled it up here, but we still see nothing. We have to turn it on up here and it will give us the parameters for it. Let's close that so we've gone back to our main window. So first section LFO similar to what you would expect with any synth really we've got the normal sort of parameters so rate phase shape and shapes useful because you see you've got the basics here of noise square sign triangle the shape is what will let you make that into things like a saw uh, or in the case of the sine wave into a square or into whatever you want to call that and it changes the square to pulse width modulation and what it does to noise is digify it so it's like crushing it to 8 bit almost um, we'll go with the saw for now because it doesn't really matter what we then need to do is click assign now you see assign pops up all these little gray bars around and these are the things that can be assigned to that LFO and how it responds what we're going to do is just put it on the pitch push the pitch right up and then we should see this is going to start modulating from that pitch point. Okay, so we can see here the little ball that rolls around is how that's going. Now this here, the slider, is how much of that effect goes in. So we can dial it right back so it's just moving a little bit. And we could change the rate, so it's perhaps going a little bit slower. Three eights, for example. And what is really useful here about the pitch is it will show you the note it's on. So for example, say this was a G sharp, we could have a G sharp and we could work out to slide it upwards to the next relevant note to keep it in key with your track. Um, we're going to look at all the plugins that come in molecular at a later point. Now, a really, really useful thing is instead of going through each one of these individual parameters, so for example, step where we can put some steps in, and we're then going to click assign and reassign it here. While we're in this mode, if we double click on the name of what we want to assign, so let's take odd even, it will give us in the middle here a list of everything we can assign it to macros logic envelope so I can now also while I'm here assign this to LFO1 without changing anything over here by just dragging it up like that there you go guys that's a nice easy quick start in molecular just to get the modulations going and we've spent 
a few seconds here and we've changed the sound into something a bit different and brought a bit of extra life into it. Uh, keep tuned in for the next videos, I'm going to go through all the different plugins, how they work and a lot more depth in this plugin because there is so much you can do with it. See you next time.